Hi guys, there's that magical feeling in the air at Cambridge, exams have finished, students are relaxed and this week is May week. Now for those of you that don't know, May week used to be a celebration held before exams, weirdly, I don't know why you'd celebrate before exams, but is now a week of celebrations at the end of term once everyone has finished their exams. It being Cambridge, the name has stuck, so even though it's now June, we have May week now, if that makes sense. And as a student, May week was an amazing time. It's what drives you through exam term. The revision, the exams, all that horribleness, you stick at it because, well, first of all, you don't want to fail, but also you know that you have May week as a reward. May week is a week full of garden parties, balls, relaxation, time with your friends. It's really, really perfect. And I thought that this week I would be a little bit nostalgic. May week was always fun. I went to three May balls during my time at Cambridge. Two of them were at my own colleges, Magdalen, and one of them was at Sydney Sussex. And it's just incredible going to a May ball. I guess I should be opposed to it. I should hate everything that it stands for. It's a night of decadence. It is ridiculously expensive, but it's so fun to dress up and be with all your friends and just have a fun evening. Also, you pay for it in January time. So by the time you get to it in June, it feels like a cool night. And if, I reckon if you eat enough and drink enough, you make up your money. Also, there are fun garden parties you relax with your friends. I thought that I would focus in particular on my third year May week when I had perfected it and really got it down to a T. One of the things I did actually a little bit before May week, Sophie and another friend of ours, we went macarena ring around the Cambridge colleges. Links below for my video of that, it's a classic. I mean, if you've not watched it, why not? But May week and the lack of exams allow you to do these fun things. There was a garden party at Sophie's College, which was so much fun. They had lots of different coloured cocktails. I remember drinking quite a few of those. It was quite, quite fun. And it's just nice. You sit outside, you have fun. There's barbecue food, there's ice cream. There's all manner of things. It's really nice and good to relax with friends. Then certain events are held by different societies and groups. In our choir, we always had the choir punting extravaganza. If everyone comes together and unites, and it's just really a special time. And then there was the May Ball. Maudlin May Ball is white tie. That means you have to wear a full length dress. It's amazing. It's like stepping back in time. Really, you just walk around and you just think, this is madness. It's really incredible. They had fish eating your feet thingy. That was fun. And there's so much food and they had Hendrix on tap. It was amazing. And what's really nice is just spending the night with your friends, especially because it was my college. You just see people that you know all the time. So it makes for a non dull evening. And the Morton May Ball was amazing. It was really one of the funnest nights of my life. To demonstrate it, because there's nothing more fun than seeing other people's scrapbooks. I thought I'd show you some photos from my scrapbook of my final year at university. On this page is the sheet that we used when we went round all the colleges. Had to tick them off one by one and make sure that we made them all. There's Sophie and our friend Andrew, very happy with the list. There's me and Sophie. It was actually super, super exhausting. It's really tiring to go around all the colleges. It was a long, long day. And they're quite far apart, actually. But it was a really fun time. It was a fun thing for us to do together. Quite random, but really, really fun. Sophie's really pleased with herself. Then, may we... Sophie and our friend Andrew again at the Murray Edwards garden party. Just had lots of fun. Then we come to the May Ball. It starts with an invitation. Dear Sarah Stacy, so official. There's my place card because I keep everything. And there was our ticket to the ball. You get 
a pamphlet like this that tells you all the events going on, all the different music. Hendrix Gin, you see? I wasn't lying. Here's the menu for what we ate that day. Om nom nom nom. That's me, Sophie and my friend Natalie. The end of the night, you can see I've got major food belly going on there. Not good. Fun fact, this is one of my favourite pictures of me ever. I should probably be worried that a picture of the back of my head is my favourite picture. But look, look at my hair that Sophie did so nicely. And a big long pink dress. Perfect. This is Sophie the next morning. Little bit bedraggled. It's hard work man. The morning after a May ball at 6 in the morning or something, you're summoned to breakfast by a well, like, it was a, at least a model anyway, um, by a piper, and then you go, you have a breakfast, and there's a survivor's photo. This is my survivor's photo from my first year. I didn't actually buy it in my final year, because I knew I didn't put it up. Let's see if we can find Sarah. Some people totally have this survivor's picture thing down. Got a couple kissing there. They look obvious. People at the back with umbrellas people with signs and where am i who knows even if you don't go to a ball you can still enjoy it the two big balls are at john's and trinity the biggest and richest colleges and i never got to go to either of those but still some of my fondest memories are watching the fireworks from Magdalen bridge with my friends and yeah, there's something nice about bringing people together and I miss May week and I love May week and I think even if I tried to recapture it, it would never be quite the same. So those are some memories and some photos and I hope you don't mind too much nostalgia. I'll see you guys next week. And Sophie, I'll see you on Saturday for opera. Bye. Oh look, I've got sirens. It's like it's Sophie's vlog. Cambridge is hardcore.